What's up, class? Paul here, back with another fun lesson in the No Mod Shop class on the School Zone. I'm here at my Covenant build to show you something pretty clever. By the way, if you haven't seen my really cool Covenant tour video, links in the description in the iCard above. Any questions you guys have about this build, you'll probably be answered in that video if you see it in the background. So, something that has long plagued builders in Fallout 4 is a way to have lights turn on automatically at nighttime or any other kind of electronics. Nothing in the normal assets of the game allow you to do that. But, I think I found a way. Now, as usual, I did some preliminary research to see if any other YouTubers had figured this out. I couldn't find any regularly labeled videos as such. So, if this idea was buried in another video, my apologies. But, as far as I can tell, this is yet another School Zone exclusive. So for a while now, I've been wanting to find a way to turn off lights during the day and turn them on at night when it makes the most sense to have them turn on, especially things like street lights and such. You know, which is the way the real world works. But, we needed a switch or trigger that could differentiate between night and day. Then, it dawned on me. How about a human trigger? There's one thing that your settlers will consistently do at night, and that's find an empty bed and sleep in it. So, why not have that nighttime event be the trigger? Let me show you how we're going to do that. Alright, so the first thing you want to do... Now, you can do this with any bed, but the most logical way to do this is to find an area in the back of your settlement that's kind of behind everything. You know, that's a little out of the way, but settlers can still reach it because you're going to have just one bed that's going to look a little weird, a little off. All right, all the rest of your beds in your settlement are going to look normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into workshop. And by the way, this is my generator, my fusion generator here. I've just sunk that into the ground. And this is before the discovery of my Wi-Fi glitch. Uh, so I have all these original wire glitch wires going to this conduit and then underground. So I just covered up the excess wires with these things to make it all look like one little power plant back here. And then those wires underground are powering everything else in my settlement. Now that I know the Wi-Fi glitch, I, you know, it would be prudent to go back and rewire this whole settlement, but you know, I'm making videos for you guys instead. So what I'm going to do here is go to the furniture section, grab a, a sleeping bag. And I'm just going to set it down on the ground here. Now, ideally you want like a uh, level ground, but so we're going to have to make one adjustment to the next thing I'm going to do, which isn't too big of a deal. And we're going to go back to the base menu and then slide over to power. And then we're going to go over to the manufacturing section, which I believe comes from contraptions workshop. Yeah, contraptions workshop, I'm pretty sure. So you're going to go up to the first menu and then you're going to go into the conveyor belts menu. And at the end of the conveyor belts, most of you guys probably already know this, there are some laser triggers. Okay, you have two of them here. Transmits power while triggered and transmits power on and off when triggered. Now we use this one for my auto hands-free on-off decon arch. So check out that video, I'll put a link in the description too. But in this case, we wanted to transmit power only while it's being triggered. So we're going to use this one instead. Now, this one is very rarely used. So this is a great example of being able to use it. I've never found a good use for it otherwise. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to glitch this into the uh, sleeping bag right here. OK, actually, let me put it over here first. Move the sleeping bag out of the way because we can rug glitch that into place. And then I'm going to just uh, grab this. Put it right there. And then I'm going to go back to the structure section, go over to, you know, warehouse. We use a concrete pillar too. And we're going to just pillar glitch this up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to set that right there. Group select. And then just raise it up a little bit so that uh, it'll hit the person that's sleeping on the sleeping bag. Okay. So let me move that out of the way. Slide this back into place. And it might be a little too high. It doesn't need to be very high. You don't want it to be too high where it's going to, um, you know, be above the person. You want it to be running right through the middle of them. So that's probably good right there. Then we're just going to take a sleeping bag and move this right into place just like that. So, let's uh, hook this up. We're going to temporarily hook it right up to the generator. And then just to have some, you know, biofeedback for us, let's go to the power section and let's go to miscellaneous and just grab a light box. Okay. 
There we go. And then to have a little audio feedback, let's head down over here to these things. And I'm just going to grab a little blip <laughs> just to, so it makes a noise. All right. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't do this <laughs> for your final outcome, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. And then we're going to pick that up there. And then I'm going to hook this up. Okay, so power is running to the laser tripwire. It's running over to the first light box. Second light box is connected, and then we have this little powered speaker for the blip. So now when I interrupt this beam, see that? All right. Okay, so now that you know the concept here, this is going to be even better with the Wi-Fi glitch, okay? Imagine just, you know, basically anything that needs to be hooked up to power, cross your settlement to trigger different lights without seeing wires. Now, I won't go through that process now because I already made a whole video about that. So definitely check out that video and the sequel. That will help explain things if you're having any trouble with it. But the possibilities are practically endless. Now, I know some people might say in the comments, well, the settlers don't go to sleep until like almost midnight and they wake up at like 6 a.m. So you're only going to have lights on for like a short period of time. But hey, it's the best we got, right? At least it works. The second thing I want to point out is that if your settler has a little trouble reaching the bed, there may be a pathing issue with the way that you've got the uh, sleeping bag set up. So all you got to do is just shift the sleeping bag around a little bit, maybe try to move the, the laser wire, you know, up towards the head or down towards the feet. But it definitely works. I've tested this with multiple settlers. So the concept is solid. All right, now that we have that done, I just want to add there may also be a way to do the reverse. Have this trigger turn off lights at night instead using the same method. However, it's probably going to involve logic gates and probably involving maybe the not or nor gates. I just haven't put in the time to figure it out yet. You know, like many of you, logic gates hurt my brain sometimes. So I thought I'd give off some extra credit to the class. Anyone who can figure out how to reverse this process, go to my website page and email me your idea. If it works, I'll make a sequel to this video and credit you for the solution. But you have to do it with my website contact page, not just in the comments if you want the shout out, because there may be a dozen people who figured it out and leave comments and I won't know who to credit. But if you email me from the website, I can see who was first with the idea, all right? Cool beads. All right, as you can see, it works. <laughs> You just lay down the sleeping bag right over the laser tripwire. So the laser tripwire is being consistently triggered right now, which is turning on these lights. And we had a little blip that only just blips once. So there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this gave you some cool ideas on things you can do with this new method. If you have some cool ideas of your own on things you can do with this, then definitely leave those in the comments below. For example, one thing I just thought of you can have a power door or garage door automatically closed to an area of your settlement when the settlers are asleep because power door switches work in reverse like that. I think that's how it works. I'm just trying to picture it in my mind right now. For example, as soon as somebody goes to sleep, then I could have this rolling garage door automatically close the bar down. You know, that'd be a great um, use for it, you know. But anyway, you get the idea. You can also have conduits that power non-wired electronics get power with this method to turn things on like, you know, neon signs or powered posters and such. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? You know, I don't spam you with daily videos, so you're safe hitting that subscribe button. A like and a share also help. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time on The School Zone. Happy building and class dismissed.